Fighting in mud, training for hours, and going years without seeing family. This is kushti, a traditional form of Indian wrestling. Mauli Jamdade left his rural hometown when he was 15 to join this academy in Kolapur. Today, he lives and trains at the century-old Gangavesh Talim. This sport is a way out of poverty for many farming families. In just over a decade, Mauli has become one of the top fighters here, earning up to $4,000 from one competition. But India has shifted to favor wrestling on the mat over mud, and the tradition that goes back 2,500 years is dwindling. So what does it take to be one of India's mud wrestlers? And how is this traditional sport still standing? Becoming a kushti fighter is all about discipline. Mauli wakes up at 3.55 a.m. every day. He starts his training sessions at dawn with some of the other 200 wrestlers who live here. They use their own and each other's body weight to build strength. They train six days a week, often under coach Vishwas Hargule. Mali has been working with him since he joined the academy. Vishwas has trained over a thousand kids, and he doesn't go easy on them. In the afternoon, they hit the mud pit. Wrestlers warm up by preparing the dirt floor. They clear away stones and smooth it out. The dirt is mixed with turmeric, lemon, and salt to help wrestlers' injuries heal faster. It's swapped out every couple of years and sent to smaller talims. Many see the red soil as sacred because without it, they wouldn't have a career. Before a match, Mauli warms up his joints with oil and starts planning. Wrestlers cover themselves in dirt at the start of each match to create more friction between their bodies. This is just practice, so there's no winner or loser. But Mauli still gives it his all. The goal is to pin the opponent's shoulders to the soil. They use moves similar to other forms of wrestling, like locks and throws. Mauli and his opponent reapply the soil as they sweat to get a better grip. With their feet planted in the dirt, wrestlers move slowly. A real match can last as long as one hour. By the end, they're soaked in mud. Mauli isn't done for the day when the practice match is over. Mud wrestling has roots that date back to at least the 5th century BC. It evolved out of an ancient form of Indian wrestling, mixed with Persian martial arts. The sport thrived in Kolhapur at the turn of the 20th century. The district's ruler, Shahu Maharaj, was a fan of the art and built talims all over the region, including this one. But mud fighting saw a shift about 15 years ago, 
when India started prioritizing mat wrestling. The government wanted its athletes to compete internationally, so many Talims had to adapt and started investing in mats, including this one. But here they still practice in the traditional mud pits, because they believe it makes them better wrestlers on the mat too. Mud wrestling competitions, called dangals, still draw crowds in Kolhapur. And they always open with a ceremony, playing traditional Indian horns and drums. The cash prizes for this tournament depend on how much money the dangal organizers were able to raise from local fans. Young wrestlers take home just a small part of the pool, sometimes around a dollar per win. But older, more experienced fighters can walk away with up to a thousand dollars. That's why low-income families often send their kids to live at Talim's, hoping they'll get good enough to make a living. Fighters also live and train for free. But there's little comfort. Most of them sleep in shared dorms that can fit up to 50 people at a time. And with packed schedules every day, they rarely get the chance to visit home. Mauli has gone up to four years without seeing his family. But the wrestlers find family in each other. Mali's dedication has paid off. He says he earns up to $55,000 in a four-month season. It would take a typical farming family over 35 years to make that much. Getting to that level takes a lot of time and practice, which is why kids start young. Some of the youngest are here for just the summer, so the Talim is especially crowded this time of year. But during the height of the pandemic, it looked completely different. Wrestlers couldn't make any money for two years when competition stopped. Wrestlers are responsible for their own food and expenses. And those costs can add up, especially with the diets they have to maintain. Most days they eat chicken, lamb, and eggs. But today is Saturday, so they're making vegetarian dal. Mauli is now a veteran at this Talim, mentoring the younger wrestlers. But he still remembers his first day here. There was a lot of competition. There were a lot of people in the front. There were a lot of people in the front. Now, he's treated like a celebrity. Mauli hopes to keep wrestling for another decade. And he believes the ancient tradition of Kushti isn't going anywhere. Like the old Kushti, and it will go for a long time.